Hey guys, it's Angel. So in today's video, I wanted to do something different. I thought I would do a tea of the week video. You guys know that I love tea and I wanna share my favorites with you. So in today's video, I am doing a tea review and introduction of Taro Bubble Tea from Q Bubble. But before we get started, I wanted to share something really fun with you guys. I have some fan mail here and it's so cute that I just, I had to show you. So here it is. It's from Alice K from Canada. I love this cross stitch. It is so adorable. It describes me perfectly and I will always treasure this. It is going right next to my computer in my office. So thank you again. All right, so I'll put that aside. Okay, so here's what you've been waiting for. A lot of you love taro bubble tea and you've seen my taro bubble tea smoothie recipe where I made a smoothie from fresh taros. But some of you had emailed me and said, this still doesn't taste like the bubble tea that I buy from the bubble tea shop. So I'm here to tell you that this is the really popular brand that they use in bubble tea shops and it is the taro powder mix. Now, I got this off of Amazon. I'm, you might be able to find it at your Asian grocery store. I don't know, this is kind of really specialized and I haven't seen it in stores. But what I can tell you is that if you live in the US, you can buy this on Amazon. I got this off of Amazon and it was like 14, $15. So if you're interested, I'll put a link to that. But basically it is a big bag of taro powder. Oof, that smells like taro. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Now inside on the ingredients, it's taro flavor, taro flavor base, uh, red food coloring, blue food coloring, granulated sugar, glutose, and a non-dairy creamer. I definitely smell the non-dairy creamer in here. So it's basically a powder and how you use it is really up to you. Some bubble tea shops, they will use fresh taro, but also boost the flavor with some of the taro bubble tea flavoring. Let me go get some coconut milk because I have some in the fridge. So I've just got some coconut milk here. That looks good. And I'm just gonna microwave this. Okay, so now that I've got my hot milk, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my taro powder, which is what I normally like to do. Now there's no real instructions on how to make this, so you just pick how you like it flavored. So that was about three to four tablespoons of taro powder. As you can see, it's a really pretty purple color. Now this mix already has sugar in it, so you don't need to add additional sugar unless you like your drinks really sweet. So, cheers. Mmm, that is really good taro tea. It's just like it is at bubble tea shops. It's got that very satisfying, almost like umami-like flavor. It's really good. And one thing that I do recommend is that if you go to work or you go to school, there's usually always milk that you can get there. So I recommend getting like a little container and putting some taro powder in there, taking it with you so that if you guys ever have a craving for bubble tea, you'll be able to satisfy that craving. You'll be able to make a ton of taro flavored bubble tea. So I highly recommend this powder as the tea of the week. Hopefully I introduced something new to you guys and you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like this new Tea of the Week video. I'm hoping to do more because I have a really nice tea from Lupicia that I wanna share with you guys. So until then, I will see you guys soon. Bye.